Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Logan 23. You're joining me for Chapters Interactive Stories. His Chapter 3. You are now alone in the bathroom with Dustin. From his behavior, you can notice he is still drunk and that he's trying to make a move on you. Dustin, my parents are in the dining room. And let them be. I don't care. He shoves his hands down your pants and, against your will, starts rubbing you. Stop, Dustin. I told you my parents and guests are in all, all out there. Then shut up and let me do it real quick, then. No, I told you to stop. Dustin ignores you and without your consent pins you against the wall. He rips off your panties while you wiggle your body, trying to escape off of his grip. I need to scream. Get the hell off me! He tries to cover your mouth while he pushes you against the wall. Hush, babe. This will only take a few seconds. You struggle to get out of his grip, and but he's too strong. Instead, you bite his hand as hard as you can, tearing a part of the skin. You insane bitch! Stop acting like you don't want this. I don't. Get off of me. All of a sudden, you hear someone opening the door, and a large punch is thrown in Dustin's face. You turn your face towards his, as his, he is now laying on the ground, his lips covered with blood. Did he just fall? What happened? That's when you see him. Your knight has come to save you. Are you okay, Kelly? I, uh... Yeah, I am now. What are you doing here? You were gone for a second, so I came to check on you. You you also screamed, and that's why I was like, don't beg. You've been begging him. Scream. I don't give a shit at this point. Right now he's forcing himself on you. Did you punch him? Yeah. Looks like you needed quite... You needed quite some help there. Oh. I can take care of myself. It was none of your business. I guess, thank you. He was just drunk. I could barely recognize him. Kelly, I don't care how drunk he was, that doesn't give him the right to force himself on you. Amen to that. He wasn't. You understand that, right? You might like this guy, but let me tell you. I've seen guys like him before. This only gets worse and worse until there is no escape. So, what's your point? Are you gonna tell me that you're gonna... you're a better guy? No. You'll figure that on your own, but next time, there might not be anyone around who's looking out for your best interests. Your mother starts shouting at you from the kitchen. What are you kids doing? What's all that noise? I... I... I we're not even gonna talk about this. Anyway! <laughs> oh, I saw a rat. I ran into a wall. Nothing. My friend fell. Mm. Don't let me come in there and find you kids doing things you aren't supposed to. Yeah, yeah right now we're having a big old three. Three-way. Yeah. Every, all the other guys... Shh, keep down. We're not doing anything. Dustin just fell. Everything is fine. Suddenly, Dustin wakes up, barely conscious. Kyle helps him stand up to his feet. Ugh, what a... What happened? You fell, buddy. Callie came and asked me to help you up. End of the deal. Oh. Huh. Cool. Thanks, man. You have to be careful where you put your hands next time. You put them in the wrong place again, you'll fall much harder. You won't understand what hit you. Kyle? Just get me back to the dinner table. No way. You need to get the hell out of my house. No, I don't want to. Dustin stares daggers at Kyle and walks back to the dining room himself. After dinner, Dad and Mr. Knight leave in the direction of the living room. Your dad asks you to join them with a little smirk. Thanks for joining us, sweetheart. Yeah, of course. I know you just brought me in here, so I can sneak in the bottle of whiskey away from Mom's sight. Dad grabs the bottle from your hands with a big smile. That's my girl. So, tell me, Kelly, 
you're going to be a senior this year. Do you have any plans for after high school? Well, I do want to go to college, but I haven't figured out what I want to do with my life yet. Ah, David, you should be mighty proud of your daughter. She's got a good head on her shoulders. Yeah, Callie's definitely a ray of sunshine. And we know she'll do big things. What about your son? Does he do anything during his spare time? Oh, he doesn't really do much outside of school besides driving around on his motorcycle and going out with girls. Figures he's a player. I mean, don't get me wrong, if he gets his mind onto something, he'll just... He's just like a shark. He'll keep chasing it until he gets whatever he wants. He used to be the president of his class. He used to be the number one star in all the sports he played. A real all-American hero. But, well, he was in a big accident last year. Ever since then, he just hasn't been passionate about anything. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yes, well, it was pretty devastating. He hasn't been the same since, but right now, we believe he just needs the time to heal. Hmm, there's more to Kyle than meets the eye. t t, -t, -t transformers Well, I think we took up enough of your time. Kelly, I'm sure you would want to go hang out with other kids. Oh, um, I mean, I like hanging out with you two, but thank you. I should go check out on everyone. It was nice meeting you, Kelly. And remember, if my son comes on strong, just remember. Sometimes when a person has a tough exterior, it's only because they have a big softy on the inside. SHUT UP! You are giving key secrets away. Just shut the hell up. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Knight. I'll keep that in mind. As you enter the kitchen, you find your mother enjoying a glass of wine with Miss Knight. While Kyle's washing all the dishes. Hi, Mom. Miss Knight. And Kyle, wait. Are you doing the dishes? Yeah, I figured your mom did so much to set up a lovely dinner, I thought I'd give her a break. Mm -hmm. He's such a sweetie. I wish my kids would volunteer to help like him. But I have to twist their arms to get them to even lift a finger. Oh, Kelly. Seems like she's very hopeful. Yes, Kelly. Seems like such a lovely girl. Oh, she's quite the actress, isn't she? Mm. Well, what a joker you are. Seriously, ah. Uh. Anyway, have any of you guys seen Dustin? No, oh, yes. Tammy gave him a tour since you were out sneaking your father some whiskey. It, okay. Because you're in the kitchen drinking wine with your lady friend, and the guys aren't allowed to enjoy a little of their drink? I don't know what you're talking about. I only made sure that Daddy didn't need anything else before I left. Oh, so today you're going to play the role of obedient daughter. Mom, I swear, I didn't bring him any whiskey. It's amazing how you can stand there and flat out lie to your mother's face with no remorse. I wonder how I can keep calling you my daughter every day. It's okay, Allie. I know how you like to do things behind my back. And just like you like to do things behind mine. Bitch. She's so embarrassing, and I can't say anything without her lashing out. Hmm. You don't have to say anything. Just run off and go find your friend who's you're trying to say isn't your boyfriend. The drunk one who you gave a blowjob to when you were in the bathroom or whatever you were doing. No. <sighs> yeah. Not like she was sexually assaulted or anything. Nah. Mm -mm. Moving on. Ignoring her comment, you storm out of the kitchen, but Kyle runs up and grabs you gently by the arm. Did you hear what she said? She's so mean to me. She hates me, and I didn't. I know. Look, Kaylee, she doesn't hate you. She's just drunk. And mean. If you need someone to talk to... Why do you even care, Kyle? Why? You can go give that pity to your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Oh yeah, she sure thinks she is. 
Yes, and that's what we talked about. She's got a lot going on, but I just don't like her like that. Could have fooled me with your tongue down her throat. You only saw what you wanted to see. I didn't want to embarrass her in front of you. That's why I was late to dinner. I had to let her down and make sure she didn't do anything stupid. Well, you certainly have a high regard for yourself. I just call it like it is. Like you have the hots from me. Huh. As if. <laughs> if you didn't, then how come you're still standing here talking to me instead of looking out for your boyfriend? Mmm. Clever one. Come on. I'll help you find him. Oh, no. I fear this has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Yep. Yep. As you walk upstairs, you see the lights open in your bedroom. You decide to enter with Kyle, and that's when you see it. Dustin and Tammy kissing like two lions on your bed. I'd say that looks exactly like what it is. Your sister has her tongue down your boyfriend's mouth. I am not spending 17 diamonds to confront them when, when no one really gave a shit for him anyway. Let alone the sister. After seeing them, you gasp and run away from your room, with Kyle following you a few steps behind. Tammy and Dustin notice that you had seen them, so they immediately stopped kissing. Tammy runs off to her room, embarrassed, while Dustin saunters away without any guilt. Again, I was not gonna care. You want me to go kick their asses? <laughs> I like you. No, neither of them are worth it. You head back to your room and make sure they are gone. You okay, Cal? Yeah. I think I just want to be alone in my room. I'm sorry that happened to you. Are you? I figured you'd be happy to see Dustin act exactly how you wanted him to. No, Kelly. I never wish for that, because I wouldn't wish for you to have the feelings you have right now. I don't want you to hurt like this. You barely know me, and you're being nice. I don't need to know you to be nice. I'm the type that fights for others, even though I'm a danger to myself. You're forgetting something. And what's that? A neighbor who notices how special you really are. Well, for what it's worth, I... I want to thank you. For what? I wanted to kick Dustin's ass twice tonight. And from what I remember, I didn't do much. And that's why I want to thank you. That took some restraint, and you respected my opinion. Thank you for that. I guess you really did turn out to be my knight tonight. Is that a play on words? Because it's not the first time I heard that. So, no points for originality. <laughs> that made you laugh? Okay, I see. I'll have to bone up on my dry humor. If I can ever return the favor. Actually, you can. Huh? I'm worried about your safety, and I'll do what I can to make sure that you don't get hurt by that asshole, Dustin, or anyone else. I'm okay. Nothing is gonna happen to me. You don't know that. Anything can happen. Kyle leans in towards you, reaches into your back pocket. Hey, that's my phone. I know. He enters his phone number into your contacts list. Here. You have my number now, so... And on speed dial. So whenever you're in trouble, you can contact me right away. I promise that if you call me, I will come right away. But... You want to repay me, right? Well, this is what you can do. Let me protect you. Hmm. Okay, I can do that. Good. Because now, I know you can trust me. 
Oh, really? You think you know everything? Not everything. I still don't know what you taste like. Oh, you sly dog! By the way, you should really lock your phone. Kyle smiles and licks his bottom lips. He walks out of the room, leaving you alone with your thoughts while you start recalling everything that happened tonight. Will things start heating up between you and Kyle? Find out in the next chapter. Okay. All right. All right. I have to retract what I said in, in, in chapter one. That was not bad. Chapter one, they made him just the slime bull greasy. And like, hey, it's a me. <laughs> I'm doing horrible with the um basically I I really have to tap in to uh Sboba hey! Slimy Grease <laughs> so, With that being said. Um I have to retract what I said. So far I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this specific chapter. So let's hope the future ones are just as awesome. That being said, please feel free to check out the content. I have uploaded quite a drastic amount within the past few days. Uh, feel free to check that out. Also, please hit that share button. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. You will miss out on great content. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.